Hi, my name is Alan Clark, and I'm a professor of biology here at Fordham University in the Department of Biological Sciences, and I'm focusing a lot on conservation biology and animal ecology in my research, mostly bird vocalizations. The American flamingos are a beautiful species. They're the second largest, and they're very, very bright. So even for a flamingo, they're a hot bird. So most of these birds live in large flocks in the wild, and they're used to getting social cues from each other, so they look around and go, whoa, I guess it's time for breeding season. We've got to get started. And that's called social facilitation theory. And, and social facilitation is a necessary part of most species that live colonially. There was a, a, a group activity called head flagging. And that's where they just sort of all in a group, all the birds together, turn their heads like this. And another one is they flip their wings forward and do this. That's called a double wing salute. And then also they produce a special call um, that we think is probably a breeding call. It's just a triple ha 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 ha. There are certain calls that are very specific to the breeding cycle. And so what we did is we did played these calls to the birds and recorded the behaviors before we did the playbacks and during the playbacks. And we tried different calls because even though flamingos are well loved, people know very little about what calls do what about the vocalization. So we tried six different types of calls that we thought probably would be the most inspirational. So we were trying to be the Barry White or Barry Manilow of the, uh, the, the flamingo world. <laughs> We were very successful in moving up the breeding date. We moved up the, the, the mean laying date, the average date that they, they laid an egg, um, by nearly three weeks. They're young, they're inexperienced, and they, you know, so they're not very good at this, and we're hoping they'll get better with time. But if we give them more time by moving up the breeding date and, and inspire more pairs to breed, then perhaps we can help increase the reproductive success, because that's the goal. We want baby flamingos.